and John Quinn, who, who was the biggest draw ever in England, bigger than Daddy, bigger than Haystacks. John Quinn put arses on seats against Daddy, and they, they ran a, a big, big show in Wembley, not the football arena, but the, the stadium next week, held about 11, 12,000 people. Daddy and Hayster and uh, John Quinn, they sold it out twice. And on the second, no, on the, on the first, John lost the belt and then won it back. Didn't get paid what he wanted, so he, he left joint promotions to go to the independents, which I heard immediately. So I called the independents up the day afterwards and said, uh, I believe you've got John Quinn. Yes, I said, I'm offering myself as an opponent for him. How much do you want? I told them, oh no, God, that's too expensive. We've got Dave Taylor, we've got Steve Riedel, and I said, both excellent wrestlers. You've got even more than that, but you haven't got anybody who has got heat with Quinn already on television. Hmm. Let us call you back <laughs> an hour later. An hour later, they called me back. Okay, your offer is accepted. When are you coming? I said, out of respect for Max Crabtree, I'm going to give a month's notice. I said, but I will also tell him when I give the notice that if he puts me on TV matches with the threat of losing my heavyweight championship belt, I won't do it. And uh, but when I, I told Max that, he he's actually said, I appreciate your work, your offer, and what you just said makes me really happy that I brought you up the correct way. You've put everything on the table. So we'll have you on television next week and announce that you're leaving and taking the belt is no problem which I did, and um, we earned a lot of money. A lot that, of that, money. That, that, that must have been a big, big job for the business there in, 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 in England. Oh, Just, God, the, the, wow. the independents yeah. took over. Uh, within, within two years, they took the contract of TV, of joint promotions, uh, Oreg Williams was a, a Welsh promoter, so he got Welsh TV as well. So we, we were doing better than, than joint promotions, yeah. and we were supposedly the opposition. The yeah, opposition. What, what size arenas did, did, did people run back in those, those days, Tony? What, what, sorry? What, what, what size arenas? What were the capacity to some of those arenas? Oh, the... Uh, the, the, the biggest was Wembley, uh, which held 10,000. The second was Royal Albert Hall, which was uh, the one that everybody wanted to be in. And with, with the prestige of being the Royal Albert right. Hall, Brian Dixon eventually got to promote there. Uh, they also, apart from John Quinn, they also had Kendo Nagasaki. Right. And, and then Adrian Street came to us with his tag partner. Then Mark Rocco, Rollerball Rocco, who was right. phenomenous in England. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen some uh, YouTube matches with you and Rocco, and wow, <laughs> I can yeah. say, it. wow, fantastic. Yeah, ex exactly. Mark, yeah. Mark was a, a bundle of energy. And uh, that that destroyed joint promotions. They they tried to create a new world champion, but didn't work. Nobody 
uh, took, took any notice of it. They acknowledged I was world champion, British champion. And the, the one that Max wanted to put the, the British champion on actually came over to, uh, to us and did championship matches with me. Well, what I find fascinating about that is you were able to take that title. There was the title still called the same thing? Uh, uh, or was it recognized no, by it everybody in, 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 in England at that time that this is, this is the one championship, this is the legit championship? No, no, they, they, they accepted that I took the real one and that they made another one. Tony, did, did they, did they try to, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I apologize. Did they, did, they try, no, okay. did they try to stop you? I mean, you, you're the undisputed no, British no, champion. No, no, Max, Max, Max Crabtree, in fairness to him, said, hands up, go and do what you want. I, I spoke to Max a couple of times after I left, and he was, he was okay with it. He understood my position, I understood his. He was answering to the big bosses that owned the joint promotion by then, who were now is owned by a, a bet, betting company. And uh, they, they lost television, they lost everything within a year. The, the, the opposition promoters also had Kendo Nagasaki, who was also a great name in British wrestling. Right. Um, we we had everybody. 